Get the fuck away from me! You're gonna go to jail? Get the fuck away from me! You're gonna go to jail and your child's gonna be protected. Stop! You're being too fast! Stop! Put your hand down! Don't raise your hand at me! Please excuse me. Do not do this. Please excuse me. You have a child on your chest. On February 7th, 2023, a distressing incident unfolded at a bus station when a woman, carrying a baby on her chest, began assaulting random individuals. Swift action was taken after a bus station staff reported the whole situation to the police. Upon arrival, law enforcement officers encountered a woman displaying a confrontational attitude. In this video, you'll witness the tense encounter and how officers manage this challenging situation. As the police officer walked up to the woman, she was by the bus station's ticket counter. When the officer asked her about the situation and what was happening, the woman's response angered the officer, and he firmly instructed her to adjust her attitude while dealing with him. Hey man, what's going on? Nothing, I missed my bus. Okay. So why are we out here? Why? Because I missed my bus. So why am what I kind here? Of quite you tell me. You're approaching me, sir. Okay. Well, <laughs> here's the long and short of it, okay? Lose the attitude with me. I didn't cause any problems Am I under for arrest? You. you can be. Do you want to go no, to jail? No, I'm asking. Am I under arrest I right can now? make that decision right now. Do you want to go to jail? Am I currently under arrest? You're being trespassed at the very least, okay? For, for what? She wants you off the property. You better lose the attitude. The woman then inquired if she was under arrest, to which the officer responded by warning her that he had the authority to make that decision and asked if she wanted to go to jail. The officer further explained that she was trespassing and needed to leave the property. However, the woman refused to provide her information and resisted the officer's attempts to question her. Additionally, the officer mentioned that she had been detained due to her involvement in assaulting the security person. You're being trespassed at the very least, okay? For, for what? She wants you off the property. You better lose the attitude. What then is I with you? Leave. I will leave. Give me your information real quick. No, thank you. Give me your information real no, quick. No, sir. Ma'am, listen. Sir. We are not playing this game. I have we a meeting to go to. We are not playing this game. Give me your information right now because you are being detained on, on suspicion what? of assault. You on battery. Assault? You, you, you put your hands on the security. Are you serious? Give me your name and information yeah. right now. The woman adamantly refused to provide her personal identification to the officer. The officer was concerned about her resistance, particularly because she was carrying a baby on her chest. He emphasized that any physical confrontation could potentially harm the baby. Listen, sir, we are not playing this game. I have we a meeting to go to. We are not playing this game. Give me your information right now, because you are being detained on, on suspicion of assault. You on battery. Assault? You 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 put your hands on the security. Are you serious? Give me your name and information yeah. right now. If you want it, you can get it from the. the from no, here. I'm not getting it from anybody else. You give excuse me your information me, right now. Please excuse me. Do not do please this. Please excuse me. You have a child on your chest. And exactly. Do look how close this. you are. Do not cause issues while you have a it's child. What is wrong? Yes, it's on. Perfect. Thank you. Give me your information right now. No, thank you. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Am I under arrest? You're being detained. No. Yes, detained for what? I told you already. For battery. No. Okay. So you're switching your story up three times. Can, I'll call my attorney on that one too. The lady got even angrier and started yelling at the officers. She even fought with them. Give me your ID right now. I'm not playing this ID. game with you. Then give me something with your name on it and give me your Let information. Let go of my arm. Stop Let trying to pull away from me. Stop yeah. trying to pull away from Please. me. Stop it. What is your deal? Just give me your information. Right. So you're going to go to jail? Get the fuck away you're from gonna me! You're going to go to jail and your child's going to be Stop! Put your hand down! Don't raise your hand at me! Ma'am, don't listen. You're not going. You're going to go to protect. You're going to go to jail, and your child's going to protect the service. Don't say that about my child. Stop! Put your hands down. You need to listen. Guys, you guys need to back the fuck up. No, we don't. She even fought with them all while her baby remained strangely quiet. This suggests the baby might be used to their mother shouting. The first officer decided to dig deeper into the situation by questioning some random people at the bus station to find out what they had seen. Just tell me again what you saw happening. Okay. She's going to school. All these pedestrians out here. Yeah. She's all in that. Yeah. Around here. Right? Yeah. All that she did to ask her, walked in to ask her, you're not supposed to sign right that you're not supposed to ride, ride. She, I do it all the time. Yeah. Oh, you upset because the light woman actually is nice and not to ride around here. Right. And you, you all got no respect for the baby. And what happened? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and she started getting 
Yeah. One more argument, so y'all take the picture. That when she grabbed Ace's hand and, and, and pulled Ace toward her and start fighting, grab him by her wrist and start fighting to get the palm off of Ace. So she grabbed her by her wrist and started fighting. Stop fighting. Did she ever throw any punches or anything? Yep, one. But it landed right here on it. It hit her on her shoulder? It hit her on the shoulder. Okay. It was clear that the woman was also involved in a fight with some random strangers at the bus station. It is so heartbreaking that she was without even thinking of her child, which is carrying on her chest. She started fighting with some strangers. The officer requested a favor from the man asking if he would be willing to assist law enforcement by appearing in court as an eyewitness. The responsible citizen agreed to help. But she, uh, she got all right. That's when we jumped up and whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you guys tried to intervene a little bit and stop it? Yeah. The other dude, just, oh, she was closer to it than I was, and he went. Where's the other guy at? Did he leave? Hold on, let me see if he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. OK. He's gone. All right, no worries. Um, so are you in a rush to get anywhere? Oh. Okay, do you mind if you, could you stick around for a few minutes and so we just it would it would make a lot more for this case if you could just write down real quick what you saw happen. Nah, I don't want to you don't want to write it all down? Okay, but you still saw it all happen. I still saw it all and you're happen. good if we contact you as a witness yeah. for the case and stuff right. like that though? Yeah. Okay. You don't mind show up the court. So. I I'll show up the court. Okay. Alright, I appreciate it, Mr. Brooke. Alright. It's Where just it's just her? oh she's probably going to jail. Oh, it's okay. Mr. It's Brooking, right? With a G. With an S. The officer also approached another eyewitness, who happened to be a security person working at the bus station. This security personnel had also been assaulted by the woman during the incident. Miss Abdullah, Miss Abdullah, can you, can you tell me one more time, just on, so I can have it on body cam, what, what all happened? Sir, she was riding around here, yeah. and I walked, went over there and I told her, I said, you cannot yeah. ride with that baby, it's not safe. I took a picture of her. She got out of range. She started trying to, but I was moving back and slowed on. Yeah. Physically touching, but I kept moving back. So she was hitting so she me. Grabbed, she grabbed your hand at one point? No. She grabbed your hand, she grabbed your arm? What did she grab? No. She tried to? She was hitting. Hitting? Hitting at me and kicking me. But I, she got a baby in front of me. Yeah, I know, so I get it. Girl, I'm do her do you remember baby. what? where exactly she hit you? She hit me in my face. She hit me in my face. face and your chest? She got a baby. I can not hear Okay, no, I get it. I get the baby part, but well, I'm just trying to get the story. I she's know. going to jail, so I need I to know, know the story. So know. where is she hit you? She hit me. She hit me. Yeah. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Slap, like slapping and stuff like, like that. I'm like, I need to know, is it slapping or punching? Punching. Punching? Okay. Okay. After gathering all the witness accounts, it was confirmed that the woman had indeed punched both the man and the security person. Notably, she had punched the security person in the face. The officer was collecting all the evidence against the woman, so he could issue summonses and present these pieces of evidence, along with the eyewitness accounts, in court. Subsequently, the officers successfully removed the woman from the bus station. Thankfully, the baby's aunt arrived to pick up the child. It's clear that due to the chaos caused by the woman's actions, she's not going to get away easily. And she will likely face some serious charges. This can just go home. This can go home too. That's Tyler going. This can go home too. Um, and what did you pack in the back? A bunch of blood vipers, um, I think total cans of formula, and then I just have to back it, and then I'll see what we Did you hear me? Alright, I love you. I let, um, I let the dolly, damn it, I let the dolly know that I won't be there. Okay. They kind of briefly know what's going on. Take, uh, you got that card, pull yes. all that out, and just hand that to me. Make sure I don't have anything else. Yeah, make sure you don't have anything. I don't know. I just got off work. So. God, God forbid you take anything else in there. It's just another automatic felony. Okay? Do I get to keep that or are you guys going to hand that back to me? We hand it back to the, we hand it to the deputies. The paper? It goes to the deputies. Okay. They'll ask and you, we'll let them know. Okay. We'll let right. them, he'll, he'll let them know. Okay, okay. Yep. No, you're good. I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna be Just, easy. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna be easy. I'm not manhandling you or nothing, okay? okay. Just relax, though. Okay. Put your palms together like you're gonna pray. 
Oh, no, 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 that way. There you go. It's a little bit more comfortable. I'll see. I got another one. You got them. I would just do it. After ensuring the baby's safety in her aunt's care, the police officers took the woman into custody. The charges against her were far from minor. She was accused of battery for assaulting individuals at the bus station, including a security officer. Her act of trespassing on the property also contributed to the charges. Furthermore, her disorderly conduct had caused a chaotic scene, disrupting the peace and safety of others. The charge of assault was specifically tied to her aggressive behavior towards the security personnel, which involved physical violence. Perhaps the most concerning charge was child endangerment, reflecting the grave risks her actions had posed to the infant strapped to her chest during this turbulent episode. This comprehensive list of charges signified the severity of the incident and the potential legal consequences she would have to face. I hope you enjoyed the thrilling police body cam footage we shared today. We love hearing from you, so don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Your feedback and support mean the world to us. Remember, by subscribing, you'll never miss a moment of action-packed content. Join us on this thrilling journey as we explore the intense world of law enforcement and the pursuit of justice. Thanks again for being an incredible part of our community. Stay safe, stay engaged, and we'll catch you in the next pulse-pounding episode. Subscribe now and let the adventure continue.